Or if you hit it again. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Today I'm going to be unboxing this incredible Luke Skywalker, Grogu, and R2-D2 1-4 statue from Iron Studios. That's up next. the Batman statue collector and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles and like I said today we're going to be unboxing this massive statue look at the size of this box this is from our friends over at Iron Studios I had the opportunity to review this one for you guys to unbox it and share my thoughts and opinions it's basically three for the price of one which is really awesome and so without further ado let's just get to the review all right, we're going to take a quick look at the box. And again, it's a legacy replica, 1-4 scale. You can see some images of the statue itself. This is obviously going to be a diorama from our friends at Iron Studios. Like I said, it's a really slick looking box. It does have the Star Wars and Disney logos, which is great. Uh, nothing on the back side, really, other than maybe a reflection of me. And then, of course, the statue again on the top. We have, boom, whoa, right there. Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, and Grogu. Uh, you guys don't want to see a box, though. Let's get to the styrofoam. So I love when companies do the Velcro straps, and as you can see, that's exactly what they've done here. And so it is very much appreciated. Iron Studios, you get a thumb, thumbs up from the BSC. Let's go ahead and take off the straps, and we'll see what's inside. All right, the styrofoam has been open. Uh, as you can see, this is most likely going to be Luke in his costume there, uh, and maybe, maybe his cloak, the rest of his body. Uh, obviously, this is going to be R2 right here. Uh, I think we have a little Grogu right here as well. Yeah, let's see if we can take a little peek. Yeah, there's a little peek. And then, of course, the base as well. So uh, let me get this out of the box, and uh, we'll get it set up for you guys. So, guys, really easy assembly. You have the base, uh, the leg keys in, really easy for Luke. There's also a key in there for R2-D2. Of course, that is also a power plug, basically, because R2 does light up. And then Grogu has Luke's hand, and you simply put it into the key. Great magnet, easy going. And then, of course, uh, the cape itself, or the cloak itself, kind of just wiggles there uh, along the body, and it, uh, you know, slides in really nice and easy. And, of course, you have the Luke portrait, which I think looks great. And a really strong magnet here as well. And it simply, you know, just keys right into the neck there. All right, guys, here we go. And again, this is so cool to be able to review something like this that I don't normally get to review in the Batcave. Uh, but I absolutely love Star Wars. I always have since I was a kid. And so again, to have the opportunity to be able to do this, this is really exciting. And again, this is one for scale. I want to show you the size of this thing. It is quite massive um, because it's basically a giant diorama. Um, it also has, as you can see, it has a plug-in option um, that does have uh, the adapter here. Um, you're obviously gonna have to provide your own power source, but it's really neat. Um, and so I do wanna kinda get in a little closer here so you guys can see the light up feature there. Also, there's a button on the back, watch this. Or if you hit it again. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It's very cool. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, R2-D2. There is a, a little bit of weathering effects. I don't know if you can see it all that well on camera, but there is some weathering along the sides, uh, along you know the dirty parts of the robot, which is really great. Uh, I guess not a robot, he's an android, right? Um, it's just, it's really cool. All the different colors. I love it. I loved R2 as a kid, obviously. And again, to see it like this, and again, just to... <laughs> it's, it's really cool that there's that button on the back. So you have R2, of course, and again, you can have the light-up feature or not. It's up to you. Um, but obviously, the main star here is Luke and Grogu. Um, let's look at Luke. Um, so basically, you know, this is a statue that's a lot of black. So, you know, just like Catwoman or anybody else, it makes it a little difficult. But th what saves it here is the texture. Um, you have a nice texture here in the cloak. This is all sculpted. Uh, it's not fabric. Uh, it's kind of a lighter material. I don't know if it's a PVC, but it is kind of a lighter material. Um, like that, that scarecrow back there, side, or Prime One did something similar with that. Um, but as you can see, again, uh, it's got the shiny black boots there, which is great. And then again, as you go up the statue, you're going to have uh, other forms of texture. You have the, um, the nice silver belt and... Then, of course, as you get closer here, you're going to see Grogu himself, which is awesome. 
Look at that. How great is that? He even has like real hair up here embedded in him. His eyes are super shiny, which is really great. I love it. And of course, Luke is holding him up. That is where the key is. So that looks great. And then as you get into the portrait itself, I think this is a very good Mark Hamill. Um, I don't feel like it's, you know, 100%, but I feel like it's at least probably 95% there for me. I think the sculpt is really nice. It's got, again, shiny eyes, nice sculpted hair. Again, as we kind of look at it from all angles, I think it looks really nice. I think they did a really nice job sculpting him. Maybe 96%. Maybe he's a little bit more than 95 for me. I think it looks really good. It's got some nice texture, really nice paint applications on his face. And again, it's just, it, it's that pivotal scene, you know, where he comes back and takes Grogu with him to train uh, with Ahsoka. And I just think it's a really fun piece. It's just a really nice size, like I said. Uh, again, you have all of the great light of feature with the noise effects and things like that. Um, again, it's, it is a sizable base, but I like that it's flat in the back. Um, no detail in the back, so you don't have to worry about doing like a 360 or anything like that. But... Uh, again, let me give you guys kind of a wide shot here of how great that is. I mean, it really is nice. I really like it a lot. If you are a Luke Skywalker fan, Mandalorian, period, this is going to be a really fun piece to add to your collection, especially if you're a quarter-scale collector. All those great sideshow pieces over the years, and of course Iron Studios uh, does a phenomenal job. Uh, it is available at the link down below. Uh, click that link if you want to order this directly from them. Uh, they have great customer service, so I definitely recommend using them. I've ordered from them personally before as well. Uh, again, Iron Studios is a really great company, really awesome work. This is really cool. This is a really fun piece. Um, yeah, I think you're really going to like this one, guys. But as always, uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. Is it something that you are interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, please use the link down below. It takes you right to Iron Studios. And uh, again, it's just an awesome pleasure to be able to uh, review this one for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. See you in the next review. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.